Good morning, Team Earth. I woke up pretty early this morning, 6.30. Last night I went to sleep at around 3 to 3.30. I just got done taking a shower. I'm getting ready for the day. I'm about to head back to Chris Chance Park like I was yesterday to meet up with Lance just for a little bit this morning, maybe just a few hours, and then I will be on my way to do whatever I'm going to do today. Also, if you guys watch my channel a lot, you know I'm a fan of Casey Neistat. But I do promise that my content doesn't derive from what he does. Time lapses, B-roll, and all that stuff is a very, very normal thing. It's not 100% Casey Neistat based. But I do like his channel. I respect him a lot. And also, look at his most recent video. That's me. Top comment, fanboy. No, I'm really stoked on that, actually. So, uh, yeah, let's get the day started. It's going to be a good one. It's still a little early. Today I didn't have to work at all because it's Sunday, so there's nothing I need to take to the post office. It's been a great morning, super relaxing, just catching up with things that I've been holding off, basically the computer things, replying to comments. I'm super, super excited about the feedback I've been getting lately. I say that every episode, but it's unreal, dude, seeing, oh man, my settings, hold on. Much better. It's super nice out because it's cloudy right now, and when the sun protrudes in California, footage is just unbearable. Like, you have to turn your settings on your camera down to the maximum low, and I don't like doing that. But right now it's perfect, and I'm heading up to meet up with Lance right now. We did like three to four collabs yesterday, and this morning he has, I think, two to four in mind. So it's gonna be a great morning. We're gonna start off doing that, be really, really productive, knock out some videos that will probably be awesome because those guys, their ideas are insane, like the stuff they come up with. And it's just stuff that I can't really post on my channel because I do daily vlogs. So like working with them to do really, really fun experiments, working with other people to do fun experiments is like something that I'm really, really passionate about. So right now, I have to drive 40 minutes to get to the skate park. We're gonna skate for a couple hours. You'll see, you're coming along for the ride, so I don't know why I'm explaining all this to you. Has anyone else caught themselves listening to Justin Bieber a lot more? Dang it! Oh shit! Strangely, I am the only one at the skate park at 8 a.m. right now. That is so weird, I'm the first one here. Anyways, I'm about to climb through the fence, probably skate flat ground a little bit, and then skate the park. That is always my go-to. I really wish this place was near my house. It's a really, really fun one, even though I think mainly it's fun and popular just because Chris Chan skates it. But it's awesome, the little ledge there, and how slick it is, and the flat ground area. You know what, actually, I can see why it's famous regardless, but we have to do this whole, whole shebang again. Audio is completely not working when I do playback, but it is recording the audio. Like when I capture it on the computer, it's there. I I'm scared of, I'm like trying to hit it and maybe knock the audio back because yesterday that was working. But I'm scared to mess up the SD card. And that's the only way I can see if it's working. Oh, you hear that? But I have to hit where the SD card is. Gosh! That sucked. Okay, it's working for now. I'll just keep recording and hope hope that the audio works. So if, if there's missing audio for the next five or 10 clips, sorry about that, but I think it's gonna work. I'm almost positive, actually, so. So I'm just gonna talk and really hope that the audio is actually working. I'm getting a new camera today. It sucks, but I am. This thing is a piece of dookie. I've actually had a lot of trouble with t cannons, period, but uh, but it's okay, I'm still gonna record because I know the audio will still export to my computer. I'm about to film a penny board edit with Lance. He just showed up to the skate park, but then he had to leave to buy razors and batteries, etc. So I'm gonna play with the penny board for a little bit and see what see what's up. It's funny, because if I disappear for a while, I'll be like, sorry guys, I know it's been a while, but it, I mean, it's immediately to the next clip. Like the last clip was immediately to this clip, but it has been about uh, two hours or so. I basically just did an edit with a penny board. I did 20 tricks on it. It was very difficult. So here's where we're at right now. 
just did another video with Lance. I did a penny board edit, which I've already mentioned. He did a setting up a board video, and it's about 12.30 now, one-ish, so we're doing really well on time. And I think we're doing one more video where I'm teaching him how to, oh, and I taught him how to do a 50-50. Did I already mention that? So I'm gonna teach him how to do a fakey lip right now. That's a video that he'll have in the future. We're just going through the cycle right now, teaching him tricks, super fun, because he's on like this road to sponsorship type thing that's just like the funnest videos to watch, so funnest. I never know if that's a word. All right, it's about one o'clock now and we are done. Very successful day with Lance. Thank you, Lance. Thank you. All right, you two welcome. tricks. Oh yeah, he learned two new tricks. Regardless, that's like the most success you can possibly have is learning tricks, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think that's yeah, awesome. That but anyways, yeah, so we're heading out now and uh, yeah, I'm heading back to Long Beach in just a minute. I'm gonna have to get all this stuff through the small hole in the gate. Oh no, I forgot. I don't know why they haven't, it's one o'clock and they still have this locked, but I think on Sundays it's just locked all day. Hashtag Lake Street on Sunday. Don't be going. So I technically slept about three to three and a half hours last night, and I can feel myself crashing quickly. So I'm heading back to Long Beach right now. I have a few errands to run, but I think I have to take a nap. But unfortunately, it's a 40 minute drive. But fortunately, it's 1.30, so traffic shouldn't be that bad. It's also Sunday. It's gonna be an easy, smooth sail. But once I get there, I'll figure out the game plan. But for now, I have to film on my camera phone because my camera is acting stoops. Stupid. Now you sit there and think about what you did. Audio playback dying and whatever. I'm gonna have to go to Best Buy in just a little bit to look at new cameras. Uh, I probably will end up getting a Canon T3i because I have lenses that fit. But I have been wanting to get a new camera altogether and I feel like this is a perfect excuse to start my new shopping. I will see, I'm gonna on go online right now, I'm gonna take a nap first of all, and then I'm just gonna research just a little bit, and if I don't find anything that I think is a better alternative immediately, I will just go with the Canon T3i once again. This was not part of my budget plan, but I do have to go inside and look for some Canons right now. I tried to look for a better camera online, just couldn't find anything that I was interested in so quickly. Like it's just too short of notice for me to invest in anything besides a Canon T something something I, because that's the camera I know. And I was gonna say no in love, but I definitely don't love this camera. It's upside down. That's what I'm getting. Apparently the camera that I got a long time ago doesn't exist anymore. I had a Canon T3i, so today I had to get a Canon T5i, which is kind of silly, but the T3i, I guess like it was bound to break eventually or bound to break soon. So it was cool to invest in a new camera, but I definitely want to get like kind of a mega daddy equipment set up. Like I want like the best possible stuff I can I can get for all of my vlogging, especially. I want something with really good autofocus, but I mean, so far this stuff is like perfectly fine. I'm looking for my car, that's why I'm like darting my eyes everywhere and it looks like it's just gone. This is getting real weird, real fast. I'm doing an unboxing with my cell phone because it's probably the most reliable camera I have right now. But this is a Canon T5i. I had to buy it last second because, well, I need a camera really badly and this one, if the audio doesn't play back, that's huge for me because I mean, every clip I have to go on the computer and check to make sure the audio is captured and that is totally not worth it. So, quick second purchase is this Canon Rebel T5i. And I wanna get a cooler camera in the future, but uh, for the sake of time and convenience, I had to get this for now. Here's my old camera. I will probably unwrap all of this and just hook it up to this camera right now to see how well it does. So here's some warranty crap. Here's the inside. I'll take it out as we go along. Let's see, here's a booklet. Here's something that's kind of just in the way. Here is a video camera. Here's just the body. Let's see, okay. Booyah. Sorry I'm not making this that romantic. I am slightly in a hurry because I'm actually at a Walmart parking lot trying to go inside and buy some stuff but I feel like this is worth documenting since it cost me money. There it is. The Canon T5i, look at that. Uh, take this crappy thing off. Oh, it's just a, okay, just a little case, whatever. Here's my old lens. Take it off. I hope it's compatible. It absolutely is, take this off. I'm sure there's no battery in it, no battery of course. Take this off. This is actually kind of exciting because I know with SD cards on my old camera, they didn't work very well together. And I'm fairly certain because it's such an old camera. So this SD card that I have that is 64 gigs should work very well with the T5i. 
and I cannot wait to try it. And also, how is this not falling off yet? It fell on my new camera, that's great. Okay, so, taking the battery out. I am stripping this thing down. It's gonna look ridiculous in a second. There we go. Take this mic off. Here's my old camera. I'm very tempted to just throw this out the window and be like obnoxiously vulgar with this thing just because of how annoyed I am with it. But I'm not going to because I can still use this for backup, for serious backup. Like it doesn't have audio, but I, there, there's situations where you're just like, dude, I really need an extra camera right now. Even if I don't know if it's fully recording the audio, I can at least capture the video and make sure that it is documented. So let me put this up. I mean, this is almost exactly like the other camera. Like I, I already know where all the buttons and functions are. The only thing is I have to reset the, uh, the white balance, which takes about four seconds. Okay, let's see. See, I love, see the cell phone is so reliable. Like this is never gonna cut off. This is gonna record for hours and hours until I run out of gigs. That is on well. SD card, that's the next step. So take out this SD card, boom, and put it in this guy. This camera is pretty much, I mean, it looks exactly the same to me. I'm sure there's like definitely different functions within, especially because it's two models ahead of that model. So there's gotta be mass differences. But yeah, let me know how it looks. I'm gonna turn it on in front of you. What does it say? Time zone, London. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, come on. Where's the time? Hatch, oh, how is my trunk open? Okay. 4.43. Oh gosh. This is the first clip I'm filming with this camera. Hopefully the mic is on and hopefully everything works, but uh, yeah. We got a lot ahead of us, camera, so please, please be better than your old brother right here. All right, let's get going. Uh, okay, so here I have to buy some paper, I have to buy some tape, and that is it. And then I will run out of here. So I'm trying to, if you can tell, I'm like really in a hurry. I don't know why, but I have like sort of that anxiety right now, and usually when that happens, I just have to be very, 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 very on top of it to fix it, to neutralize it, because I want to end up in Starbucks really soon, and that's when I feel like the most calm when I'm sitting there actually working on really important projects. I totally cheated. I checked out at the electronics area, but it worked, and I'm on the way out. That's how you save time! So if my anxiety was at about a seven, it is now about at a six and a five. So once I handle more things, it will keep reducing. I am so sorry for acting crazy in the last couple of clips, honestly. There's no reason for me to be that way. There's nothing that is so stressful to where I have to act like a crazy lunatic. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I can feel it on myself where I'm like, dude, why am I acting this way? Especially because I just got a text message uh, via email. Somebody emailed me and got sent to my text. It says, hi, I am a huge fan of yours. You have the best videos. If I'm having a bad day, I go right to your channel. And once I start watching a video, it flips my day around. Thank you. And his name is Andy. That is why I have a YouTube channel. Now let's buy some baby onesies. Okay, I bought a bunch of baby onesies. And in case you're wondering and new to my channel, I design and sell these on Amazon. And that's what I do. I never put the link in my description or anything because it's not that interesting. I don't want people going there and trying to buy stuff because I feel weird selling that kind of stuff to the people who watch my channel. I don't know why. I just think it's weird and I think in the future if I start a company that I think is actually cool and will actually benefit people who watch my videos, then I don't mind putting a link in the bio. Description. Extravaganza. Someone asked me if I was going to change my YouTube channel banner and I totally took that as like, okay, obviously you don't like it and you're just kind of mentioning it and I seriously appreciate it because he was like, oh, I didn't say that. I was just curious, you know, as it, you know, if you're doing a new one for the new year. And uh, I mean, basically, he was being as nice as he possibly could by saying, your banner is the worst thing in the world. Because it was. It was so terrible, so gross. But that's my second redesign of it. So I guess for now, it'll float like this until someone else says, I don't really like it that much, or kind of beats around the bush and is cool about it like he was. But yeah, I'm stoked. That took me like a long, long time. It takes me forever to design things. It's not the process of actually designing because that was a simple design. Clearly, it would only take a minute to do something like that. But coming up with the idea and then implementing the idea 
and then strategically attacking, I don't know. I'm about to be done with Starbucks though. It's almost nine o'clock. A schedule defense from chaos and whim. I like to say whim like that because I think it's funny, but that is from Annie Dillard. Basically, keep a schedule and don't have a chaotic life. For me, that's why I always write things down and that's why I'm always really, really keeping track of what I have to do the next day because honestly, if you get lost in the mess, if you live free and do whatever the next day, a lot of people think that's like this like really revolutionary thing. Like, dude, like I don't like to schedule. I like to just live and like whatever, how it goes is how it goes. But a lot of times those dudes end up miserable because the next day you're bored and if you ever fall into boredom, you lose. Like, that's the opposite of happiness 100% because anger or no, sadness is the same coin of happiness it's you know just different sides of the same coin boredom is a completely separate thing it is actually the opposite opposite of happiness so avoid boredom by scheduling things and organizing things and knowing what you have to do and things don't get chaotic so the next day when you're organizing you do a few things it'll actually it like helps your mind get clear and it helps you actually have a more creative insight on things because you just have a better track of what's going on youtube just really really helps confine me and make me feel a lot better about everything that's going on. It really, really makes me feel good, like seeing the comments, reading things, and just seeing all the positive feedback that I've been getting. It's really, really unreal. It's seriously not, it's not real. Nope, mm -mm, I don't believe it. So anyways, thank you for subscribing, watching, commenting, liking. Just taking the time to watch my videos has been revolutionary for my channel. That's why I'm getting so many subscribers. That's why I like my channel's getting pushed is because you guys spend time watching the content and enjoying it and then you know communicating with me and then we have a conversation. You thumbs up. It's just like the coolest thing ever and you guys have been doing a great job of helping my life and I appreciate that a lot. So thanks again. Good night.